evening, Dr. Anima. We are from Group 12. Today, we would like to present our assignment from Phase 1 until Phase 3 using the MATLAB software. I am Dashni Balakrishnan. I am William Yu. I am Lord Izzat Ibis Nagumaskari. <laughs> so now we will be starting presenting our time domain for our ECG signal from 1 to 4. So as seen from this code, so from the first part of the code, we actually have to load the material and then the Y1 to store the data and FS will be the frequency, the, the sampling frequency for G1. So for different ECG, they have different FS, so this we can show the result from it. And <coughs> and to plot the signal, we have subplot and stem for the signal and the title label and Y label for necessity. So now I'll be running the code and the rest will by Lashi. So uh, the output result is in time domain. So uh, we have ECG for signal, ECG signal 1, 1000 Hz, ECG signal 2, 200 Hz, ECG signal 3, 50 Hz, ECG signal 4, 10 Hz. So we can see that when there is higher frequency for the ECG signal, the lines are more uh, narrower, more closer. When low frequency, the lines are far apart. <coughs> that ends for our phase one, and now I'll be showing the. <coughs> and now I'll be showing the result for our phase, the frequency spectrum of the time domain of the signal. So, uh, so the output result is in frequency domain. We have four ECG signals frequency spectrum. So uh, we can actually observe that frequency spectrum for ECG signal 1 and ECG signal 2. There is a noise there, the blue color line. And then for the ECG signal 2, the red color line is actually the noise, the unwanted signal. So uh, we can use uh, cut off frequency 50 Hz to filter out the noise to get the perfect signal. For the ECG signal 3 and ECG signal 4, there is absence of noise but then uh, they might have loss of data. We can see that the data is not fully occupied. Okay, so now I will be showing the coding for the filter. Okay, for our first part, we have the loading, which is the similar code with the frequency spectrum. We load the material and then we change it to the, we change it to the frequency domain. And for our lower part, right now, okay, so for our lower part from this section, we can clearly see that we have our frequency, the cutoff frequency at 50 Hz and with a long sum changing and some constant, we are able to produce our H which is our filter transfer function from this formula and this method is actually the bilinear transformation and we'll be using the 6 order low pass multiple filter as our filter and finally we'll be plotting the the filter using subplot at x label and title as And moving on, we have B, which is labeled as the filter ECG signal in frequency domain. And we do this by having a convolution method between the frequency domain of the ECG signal and our filter and along with clause and white label and title. And finally, to show that our result is successful, we will be doing the inverse uh, judge transform to change it, to change the filter D back to a time domain which is from this code. 
Thank you, Guy. Okay, we have two signals where the French B to C. This result will use one K first at the first at the first graph where where the green line will become narrow. And at original graph have unwanted signal where it is was at 50 hertz and the red line is the filter so after convolution between original and filter thus we get the thin line result and we have filter and that show no half noise at there so and the last graph is show the dark blue one have a thick line and have noise and after filtered they have a no noise at the sky blue line and have a sharp line while signal 2 while uh, signal 2 we use uh, 200 hertz and the line will become wider so the result is show same with signal 1 because we use difference frequency and there are uh, in the grid Signal the uh, original have a uh, unwanted and the pin not have uh, noise. Yeah. Thank That's you. all. Thank you for our group.